Okay, guys. Welcome to the final day of this training. All right. Um, initially, I planned to actually postpone it to tomorrow. But, um, you know, looking at my schedule, I've been very busy. And um, I was thinking that um, I could just postpone it to tomorrow. But then I remember that I'm the kind of person that I like to stick to time. I like to, you know, do things when I said I would do them, right? So that's how I am. That's how I operate. If I say I'm going to do something on this day, I will try as much as possible to do it on that day, right? I don't like postponing things. So I hate procrastination. I like to do things at the same time, right? So that's not been easy on me. Um, I had to, you know, abandon some things I was supposed to be doing today, you know, just to make sure this um, teaching is possible. Right? I had to, you know, put some measures to make sure that um, I can squeeze out just a little bit of my time and then have this session with you guys, right? So I want to really appreciate you guys for, you know, hoping up for the past 21 days. If you have not joined or if you didn't have not gone through the last 21 videos and the last, you know, 21, 21 respective videos, you're doing yourself a very great disservice, right? Uh, <clears throat> This training has not been easy on my part and also your part. I want to really thank you guys. I've been plugging in every day. Thank you for sharing the post. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for reposting. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. All those things are helping the channel grow, right? We saw about 200 new subscribers just because of you guys. You guys have been amazing. Right? And also, it has not been easy on me as well, right? You know, having to you know, buy data. You know, I've bought data more than five times or six times since we started this teaching. That's not been easy, you know using um the softwares we use to record these videos and then you know, uploading the videos, it takes a lot of data consumption. So from my part, it has been a lot of uh, monetary expenses, you know, but it has, it has, um, it has to start the free teaching, right? It was free. So I had to be the one doing all the expenses, you know, buying data, getting full, you know, um, you know, running the editing software so that um we can have a smooth teaching, right? So it has not also be easy on my part. It has been 21 days of sacrifice. And yeah, that is um, how I wanted to, you know, celebrate this three years anniversary, right? There's been three years of impact, three years of teaching you guys, and I'm really excited that we have finally come to an end, and today's the grand finale, which is the third year anniversary of this academy, right? So we have been on since 2021, um, 2022, 23, 24. This is the third year, right? If you calculate from 2021, we started June 22nd, 2021. That was when we began the academy. We started from YouTube, and yeah, we'll continue with YouTube. All right, so let's go to the meat of the matter, right? So tonight is start the Father's blessing. You know, <clears throat> from ancient times, when we talk about the Father's blessing, we're talking about words of wisdom. We're talking about words of advice, right? In those days, when old men or fathers were about to, you know, pass on or, or maybe send their children out, right? They usually sat them down and then they'll give them some words of advice. or tell them, don't do this, leave women, um, focus, you no, know, that is what we call a blessing. Right? The blessing that the father gives to his child is the wisdom, right? That I mean, the wisdom he has acquired by experience. So instead of the child experiencing that same struggle the father experienced, now he's able to cut the negative experience by a whole lot, right? Don't get me wrong, you're still going to have to experience certain things on your own. But the father's blessing is more like an advice to kind of shorten. Your learning curve to kind of cut the bullshit, right? Take take out what is not necessary, right? And then focus on what is necessary. That is basically why um the fathers always have time to talk with their children. So we call it the father father's blessing. So in this um training, I'm going to attempt to try to cut your journey. Sort of you guys, you know, suffering for three years or four years or five years, right? I just want to cut maybe one because you still have to go through some struggles. It is compulsory as and the life of every trader to go through struggles, right? They're going to go through struggles. Believe me, I know as it, this is not how it looks like on social media, right? Social media does not tell you that it's a struggle, but I'm telling you from experience and uh, from the experience of, of more than 100 and something students, or about 200, so I've trained more than 200 private students, right? Over the last three years, right? And I can tell that trading is not easy. Now, the first word of address I'll be giving you guys, number one, or I won't be numbering it, I'll be talking as it comes to my mind, right? Although I have jotted some things down here, right? So the first time I'm telling you guys, which is really going to help you to cut your journey very short, is to understand that social media is a facade. Social media is not real, right? Just type it out. If you guys are, and just hear what I said, type this out, that social media is not real, right? What you see on social media is not, is definitely not real. Right? Social media is very one-sided. What you see 
happening on the on the screen is not even up to one tenth of what is actually going on, right? This is the first word of advice I'm giving you guys. Social media is not real, right? I, will, I know I will explain why I say this, right? Social media is not real, right? It's not real at all, right? It's not real by any fashion, right? It's not real. Why is it not real? You know, sometime about two years ago, you know, uh, yeah, about two years ago or one year ago, I was talking with a friend of mine and, you know, the guy was trying to, you know, he was into blogging, right? He was into blogging. He's very good at blogging. He has made thousands of dollars from blogging, right? So he was trying to expand his growth, um, his um, business. So he tried to venture into the Forex space, right? And then I, I knew that this guy was not a trader. I was, I knew him that he was good in, he was good in web designs and all of those parts, you know, Bitcoin, all those stuff, all those stuff have to do with exchanging, you know, exchanging things, the gift card, all those stuff. That's what he was into. And then he was into um, creating blocks. And then he used to run websites for people. Like this guy could run websites for people. If you wanted a website, then you could meet him to get your website. That was what he was into, right? Now, he met me and, you know, he told me he wanted to join YouTube. And then after I said, okay, no problem, you can join. And then after two months, I started seeing him posting Forex videos. I was like, okay, let me just go through what he's doing. Right? I was like, okay, let me just go through what he's doing. Then I went to one, one of his videos and then I noticed that this guy was showing some figures, like about three or four thousand dollars. I was like, okay, let me watch the video. And then I was looking closely at the video that he posted. And then I noticed that the profit he claimed uh, to be making was actually a demo account. This one, this is not uh, a this is not a hearsay, right? This is not um, a story I heard from somewhere. This is a real life personal experience. I know that this guy was trading a demo account and he was saying that it was, his, it was a real account. So he was posting content, you know, the social media people always like to see figures, they like to see $1,000, they like to see blues everywhere. And they just like to be excited, you know. We have people that, um, that like taking, uh, I don't know how to put it. You know, we have, you know, people take drugs to fuel their dopamine, right? But in the trading community, the, there are people that are just like, you know, all those flashy things. It gives them that dopamine feeling, right? They feel like they go, they get high when they see all those figures, when they see money, they see flashy things, they see, you know, they see withdrawals. They just get so carried away and they can do anything, right? They, you can sell them anything. You can sell any course you want, just show them the figures, right? It gets them um crazy. They get very excited, right? So now, this guy knew this, that the public like to see figures, right? Now, what did he do? When I made a demo account, and then he was making videos, and then showing um, how he was doing his demo account, and he was saying that it was a refund. It was not that, that um, he has taken some kind of loss, and he's going to recover his account, that um, it's, really, um, it's actually his account, that like he, he's not feeling happy, how he has lost some money. I was like, dude, which money did you lose? You lost your demo account, and you claiming you lost money, right? So you can see how um, social media is not real. People are not saying the truth on social media. In fact, no one is actually being completely real with you. Right? No one is being real with you. How many blown accounts do you see online? How many people post their blown account? But somehow, somehow, we are told that 90% of people are not profitable. 90% folks, 90%. So if 90% is not profitable, then who are they? Because when you go on Twitter now, everyone is profitable. Like everyone looks profitable, right? They're all looking, talking like, like they know what they're doing. No one are doing account secretly. Now, who is, if 90% is unprofitable, who are the profitable ones? And, you know, who is who are they? This is the statistics for most brokers, right? Although some profit have, you know, a firm like, like Fundedness has about 80% success rate, right? Like Fundedness has 80% success rate. But let us work with, let us work with 80 because some brokers post 80% profitability. And so let us say 80%. So if 80% is profitable, that means out of every 10 traders, 8 is not profitable. This is the truth of the matter. If you miss 10 traders, 8 are not profitable and only 2 are profitable. So if 8 are not profitable, then who are the 8? Who are the 2 now? Who are the 20%? That are profitable, you said, but everyone is looking profitable. Everyone is posting, 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 posting. That they bought a house, they make it, made a car, they did this, they did that, bro. For you to shorten your journey and make it less painful for you, you have to know that social media is not real. Just have it in your mind that you are in a world where the truth is thwarted or bent to look in a certain way, right? That is the truth about social media.
social media is not real. This is one of the advice I'll be giving you guys. If you understand this, you're going to be minding your business. And no matter what profit anyone puts, just thank God for him and then go back to minding your business because social media is not real. Most of what is being taught, what is being shown are fake. I'm telling you the truth. I have seen traders that we are called out for posting demo results. Like it, it has happened many times in my experience. I saw one guy that, that posted a screenshot and he forgot that he did not, you know, put out some things. He put a buy limit, right? He put a buy limit. He put the buy limit. And then he told us that, that he still was in profit. And he forgot that this was a buy limit. Can you imagine? Someone put a buy limit and told us that the, the, the buy was in profit. Meanwhile, it was a buy limit. The trade was not on. But he said that the trade was in profit. Meanwhile, it was a buy limit. So you can see that many things have been showed online. Even some sniper entries are fake. They go and put um, a sell limit and then say it's a running position. All of those stuff. Some people are doing demo accounts. I, no, there was actually, actually, a, um, actually a partnership I got, right? Um, you know, I was kind of discussing the profit, and I was like, okay, that I should market it with a demo account for marketing purposes. I was offered this account a 15k marketing account for 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 showcasing, you know, profits. But what the, also the person told me, the um, the manager of the certain firm, I won't mention the name of the firm, told me that it's going to give me a marketing account to help to make content. Can you imagine to make content? I should take a demo account to make content, and then people would think I'm making profit. Meanwhile. I'm not making any profit. And then I can send them my signal or whatever I'm doing, right? With the illusion that I'm making profit. What about signal people that are paying for signals? You know, on the signal um, channel, they will post 90% win rates. But when you come to pay them, you'll be taking loss back to back. You take a loss, 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 loss. Meanwhile, the mentor is still posting profit. But just imagine the situation that you are in a signal group. The mentor is posting profit on the public page, but you that paid for the signals, you are taking losses. Just imagine the mirage. And this is what is happening to a lot of you. This is because you guys have not understood that what you see on social media is most times distorted. It's not real, folks. It's definitely not real. This is where I wanted to begin my discussion. This is one of the things that you must deliver yourself from. If you understand that social media is not real, you will not be putting yourself under pressure. Because most times when you see, you see guys passing accounts in one day, passing accounts in two days, you know, they pass phase one today, pass phase one tomorrow, they are in life on that stage you get under pressure. Like, you feel like you're the worst person. I know you guys can relate to this. You see someone posting, he made $1,000, he made $5,000, and, you know, he's, you're the, why you, you can't even pass your phase one? You can't even make profit. And you feel that you're the worst in the world. I want to let you know that most of these guys are not real. Right? I'm not saying that they cannot be profitable, but I'm saying that you should remove that pressure that you put on yourself. Right? They are genuine, genuine traders, but most times it's fake. Right, so you have to know that this is the truth about it's not real. Most things are being most things on the streams are lies, right? They are lies. That is that is why personally as, as an, a mentor, I never post profit because I don't want people to start, you know, starting to um to be under pressure because what, what I'm doing. But and also it's also for my own peace of mind. As I'm not posting profit, no one is, you know, is um or I'm, no one is being impressed, or you know, no one is looking up to me for this or that. Right? I'm not facing my own business. I, the best I can do is to show you my trade and then explain why I threw the trade. I'll teach you the thought process behind the trade, but I won't show you how much I made or how much I lost. It's not a business. But I, as my person, I, I don't show profit, I don't show losses because it isn't your business. What is your business is why I took the trade. This is why I took the trade, the thought process behind the trade. That's why what I'm teaching you. If you ask me why you take this, I can tell you this is why I took the trade. Because of this imbalance, this is what, why I took the trade. And that's all I can show you. I can't show you my position side. I can't show you my profit. I can't show you my loss because I want you to focus on what is real. And what is real, what is that real thing I want to focus on? The process of your growth. So you have to be focused on the process of becoming a better trader. That's what you'll be focused on. Be focused on the process of becoming a better trader. That's what you should be focused on. Not whether someone is making profit or a person is making losses. It's not your business, right? It's not real, folks. Call the crap. Social media entry, folks. So I want you guys to just understand this is the most important point. Uh, yeah, one of the most important points. If you can understand this, then you're in for a lot of um deep work, right? The things you see online are not real. Most things are being distorted. Someone will, you know, try to maybe they will deposit it, maybe they will deposit ten dollars now and try to flip it like five times, they will blow it five times, and then also see that at the six times, maybe they can they can take um ten dollars to this and then they will blow it um. They'll blow it down five times. 
and then we now succeed once. Right, they will succeed once in flipping it. So they will succeed once. And guess what? The only one they will post is the one that they want. Right, they won't post the five times they build their account. They will only succeed, they only post the one that they, that they want. That was that one that they, they were able to win. They won't post the times they build their account. They will succeed once. And then back to my experience in 2022 or thereabouts, I was discussing one of my friends that actually flip accounts. And you know, one day he was just be honest with me. This is not a story again. He told me personally that before he flips account, he usually tries like four or five times before he flips it because most times he blows the account. That's the truth. So if you can actually flip accounts, I, I am challenging anyone that can flip accounts to do it live. If you are very good at flip accounts, okay, no problem. Show us your equity. Take the trade life or even if it's not life tell us when you're entering a trade just show us i'm entering here this is my stop loss and show us the equity then take the trace and then show us how you're able to flip it if you can't do that then i can't believe what, what you're saying are you seeing it there if you are you are so good at flipping why can't why haven't you seen them showing you in life this is the trade i took this is when i entered no show us beforehand don't show when that's later because they will usually blow their account several times and then succeed and then show us the one that they passed then if you want to be really genuine with your flipping, then do it live. Show us when you're entering the trade. This is what I'm entering the trade now. I'm entering the trade now. Why right? this is my stop loss. This is my take profit. Just show us how you how you did it from live markets. Not that you go and show us the one I succeeded and then you hide the ones you blew. No, do it live because you can't edit or hide the live one. If if it's a loss, we always see it. If it's a win, we always see it. Right. So sorry, I have to I have to really talk about. This issue of social media. This is one of the issues that uh, is clouding, you know, this issue is actually clouding or, or setting a lot of people back. They're so focused on social media. You know, everything, they feel so bad. Someone that is just in his first year of trading is feeling so depressed because he's not making um, um, $1,000 withdrawals. These things are not, are not real, bro. They, these things are fake. Even the ones, the ones that are gen genuine, they don't post. People that are actually genuine to that, they don't post so much. They just keep it, keep their success to themselves, right? So most times, most people, people that are always posting these things, what they want to do is do what they want to come and pay for their mentorship or you know their signal service or one thing or the other. That's why they are posting so you can come to come and pay for them. They want to come and pay for their mentorship or their signal or one thing or the other. That's why they are posting those things. They're not focused on teaching you how to reproduce it. Why is that you have never seen a mentor that flips? No. Um, 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 produce a student that can flip. It's only him that can flip because he knows what he's doing. All right? So, it's not real, folks. Not real. Definitely not real. That's the first point I want to make. So, do your due diligence. What do I advise? I advise that you mind your, your, your business. Focus on your growth. Take your steps little by little. Let, go grow um, on your own. Personal growth. Focus on your personal growth. Why right? don't be focused on what people are doing online. Just focus on your own growth. Right? Focus on your growth. Focus on your own process. You guys are, are not born the same day. So you guys are not, can't also have the same result, right? Focus on your own personal growth and then you will see how things begin to line up for you. When you're focused on your own growth. Right? That's the first I want to make. So the second point I want to make, which I think will really make a difference for you guys, is the issue of um, a community. So you have to be part of a community. Now, let me explain what I mean by this. Let me put a helpful community. Now, let me not, let me not let me not, not lie to you. A popular saying that it takes two to tango, right? It means that it takes two people to you know to make something work. Now, being part of a community would actually boost your growth by no small measure. Most of what I know or the opportunities I've had is because I was part of communities. I was in my mentor's community. I'm still in my mentor's community. We are there where we discuss, you know, when there's an update, it drops there, we see the update. If there's maybe a, a promo or something, or there's a gist or something that is you no know, trading related, it drops there. We can you know, go through it. But now, many people confuse Twitter for being a community. Twitter is not actually a community and it's not helpful. Why? Because you guys are not having one mindset. You wouldn't have the same goal. On Twitter, some people are there to sell their courses. 
some idea to, to drag, some idea to do their signal services, some idea to come and show up. So many people have their reasons why they come to Twitter. Different, different reasons. Some come to show up, some come to post their signal, some come to do, some come to, you know, um, um get people to pay for their signal services. Some people come to just have fun. You know, they have different, different reasons why they are there. And not only that, on Twitter or maybe Facebook, most people there trade different strategies. You can see maybe Mr. Abiola is trading smart money concepts. Mr. BC is trading um, um support and resistance. Mr. Joshua is trading um, um, um demand and supply. You know, different, different concepts. Right? Those kind of communities cannot help you. What you need is to be in a community where you guys have the same trading system, right? You guys have the same trading system, right? You guys have what? The same mentor. You guys have what? The same goals. That is what will help you. You have to be part of a community where people have the same trading system, the same mentor, the same goals. It helps you to, to accelerate faster. Imagine being in a group where you have you see people that have trading the same strategy for more, longer than you. Maybe if you're having some struggles, you can meet people that have been training that same system, that have the same mentor. You know, it helps you when you're in a community where everyone is having the same goal. Like my paid group now, most of the updates, they are very high, very beautiful updates. In my paid group, almost every day, we get at least two or three serious updates. You know, now we're in the airdrop season. We see people posting um hamster combination. You know, this one is posting this, this, this update. You know, information is coming from this side. This person wants, you know, everyone has the... Everyone in my partnership group, you have the same goal. And that is what the grow was financially. That is what we are all focused on. In our pay group, we're not trying to compete with anybody. We're not trying to uh, um, 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 cost a, a, a quarter. Our goal is very same. We have one same goal. I want the same goal. was profitability. We want to make profit. This is our goal, to make money. So in my pay group now, we have people that are focused. We have, this is all our goal. We want to make profit. That is all we are concerned about. Everyone is using the same system. We have the same smart money system. We have the same ICT system. We have the same um, um, approach to trading. Everyone is having the same mindset. So it's okay, I feed you, it's going to go here. I post my analysis. You no, know, we have the same idea, the same mindset. So but the, the newbie that is joining us is also learning from me and also the other students too. Right? If you do something wrong, someone can come and correct us. No, this is not how to do it. It's how to do it the correct way. Maybe an older student. Right now, you saw that this community is actually helping you. Right, when you have sometimes it's not clear for you. Like now, I have some students that are very problematic. They like asking too many questions, and this, this is one of the things I actually struggle with as a mentor. I struggle with students that are very dull. You know, uh, one thing you should know: we have two kinds of students, and this is not an insult in any way. We have those that are what dull, and those that are smart. Right, we have I have naturally dull students. How do I, how, how do I know they're dull? they can't understand something fast. They want to ask too many questions. For instance, now, something is dropped, right? Instead of them to just read it and you know, apply it, they're going to ask questions. I don't understand, how do I do it? Please, can you help me? You know, all those kind of things, right? Those people that are naturally not very smart, right? So those kind of people, what they need is really a community because when you're in a community, you're seeing other people do what they're doing, right? You can actually be following them. You understand that? So for those that are actually uh, falling, for those that are, that are falling to this door category, or those that are, let's not, let's not use door. Let's use those that are slow, right? Those that are slow, right? They are slow. Unless this is the right or they are slow, right? They don't, they don't understand things fast because one of the attributes of being smart is being fast to understand things, like very quick to understand what is going on. But those that are slow, they will need a uh, more explanation. They will need more hand guidance. You know, some people are naturally slow. And I have a handful of them in my, in my paid mentorship. Although they put me through a lot of stress because I have to explain one thing over and over again. But then we still have to help them, right? So those people are naturally slow. What is really going to help them is what's being part of a community because on Twitter, nobody cares about you. No one's going to answer your question on Twitter. When you come to a paid group or a paid community, a community where you have people that have the same mentor, the same training system, the same goals, now you can interact with them. If something's not clear, you can ask, right? You can, you know, ask someone to, to put you through some things, right? Instead of doing it on your own. So you have to be part of, part of the community. You can't succeed as a student alone, believe me. You can't succeed as a student when you're alone. Like you're just studying alone. You don't want to, you're just watching YouTube alone. You're studying YouTube alone. You're backtesting alone. You're what you're, you're, you're analyzing alone. You can't, you're not going to go far that way. You need other people's opinion, other people's guidance, other people's words. Um, Bible says that in a multitude of counsel, that's wisdom, right? So when there are a lot of, you know, there's 
you know, people giving their own opinion on things, you know, people that are more experienced than you, they give their own, their own opinion. This one gives an opinion, you know, you're, you're, you're progressing. Unlike when you're doing it on your own. That is one of the benefits I have found in paid mentorships. This is one of the major advantages of paid mentorships. You can't get this for free, right? If you want to be in a community that is helpful, it's most, it's more likely or 80% of the time it's more found in a paid community because those people paid, they're not there to waste their time. They pay to learn. They pay to, to make profit. They're not paid to come out. And when people pay for something, they become committed. So the guys in the pay, they are committed to what? They are committed to what? To grow, right? So pay communities help you. It's for if you're a dull person, you're not, you're not fast. You don't, your brain is not that fast in understanding things. You need the part of the community because there you can get hand guidance. People can guide you, holding you by the hands, right? The goal is, Bible says that the goal is that the weakest among them become as strong as David, right? That's a popular quote, right? So you have to, you want to make the, even the ones that are slow, you want to make them to also move forward, right? Right? So that is basically why you have to be part of the community. It will help you. Even if you don't be part of the community, you can find maybe two, three friends that trade the same um, system with you. And then you can have a group chat. You know, you guys discuss. I don't mean copy trading, no. I'm not saying copy trading. I'm not saying you should post signal. This one will copy, no. And then you can, can discuss ideas together discuss um, uh, um um opportunities together okay i see this on g what do you see you guys okay this is what i see if there's an update maybe a, a, a giveaway or something maybe a discount so i say oh there's a discount to come and join this discount you know all those things in fact it was my paid group i got the updates that there was actually they were giving them free accounts on my funded fx it was my student that posted it in my group and most of them got we got free accounts okay what about the time that i posted about one thousand dollar free accounts for you know a particular profit I posted the updates and then my students all got their accounts because why? We're in a community. So when I, I get an opportunity, I share with the community. When they get a share with, with us. So we're always sharing opportunities. This one, this one, this one gets opportunity. We will share in the group. This one has maybe some of the things that we can all benefit from. He shares it. Like, like that, we are all growing. This session is putting his own effort. Person A, he sees opportunity. He brings for the for the group, for the community to learn. Okay, I have this opportunity. What do you guys think? We discuss about it and then make a, a decision. That's why it is. That's why I really, really like my pay group because that's why I put most of my focus. Not these guys on on Twitter that are just looking for giveaway. I just looking for free money. I, I don't really care about them that, that much because what they want is what, what they can get. They don't want to. They don't want to benefit any, anybody else apart from what they can get. So I give me. Can you help me with accounts? Can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? They don't. They don't. They don't focus on anything apart from what they can get. So I'm not, I don't really pay attention to those guys. I pay more attention to my pay students. Because those are the ones that are focused on growing. Right? So you have to learn how to just look at the community and be part of it. It's, just, it's not something you should argue about. Just save up. Find a good mentor and pay. Join the community. Even if you know the strategy, maybe you're already good at trading. It doesn't matter. You need the community. Whether, you, whether you're good at trading, whether you're, you are, you're the best trader in the world, you need the community. Whether you, the thing is free on YouTube, go to and get, be part of a pay community because you will need these guys to help you. You need, you need what they call a mastermind. You need people to, you know, they're, they're behind you, giving their own ideas. You guys are discussing. You guys are brainstorming together, right? It really helps. Ask my students. We have a lot of objects. That's how many of us are actually doing what? Enjoying the group. Some things that I, I, don't, I, 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 I don't see. Someone else will post. You know, we discuss. Someone will post opportunity. Uh, this, look at this airdrop now. It's getting ripe. So what do you think? This one will post me. I will post my own. Like that, we're all discussing, you know, growing together. That is how to do it. This one, this one will post. Okay, this coin is ready. Can I, let's buy this coin. Okay, let's let's put this coin. Let's put this one. We are just trying to do it, to grow together. It helps. So be part of your community today, right? And luckily, the academy has one pay community. You can also use the link, join us, and don't join the community. You can be part of us, right? It's very important. Be part of the community. Stop depending on free videos. Right, you need personal guidance from friends and mentors, right? Now, these are the two things I, I have mentioned. I've mentioned that show me that's not real. I've mentioned that you should need to be part of a helpful community, right? And then let's also talk about another point. Now, the goal of trading is what is to make money. Like I've said this before in the previous call, the goal of trading is to make money, right? And you can't make money when you don't have money. So you need to do what you need to multiply your income. So you need to do what how let's say let's put it this you need to have other income sources, right? 
is very important. I won't talk much about this because I've done that before. So I have to have other income sources. Not that you'll be depending on someone to give you giveaway. In January, you didn't have an account. February, no account. March, no account. If they ask you why you don't have an account, you say that you, you, you don't have money. That is, that, is, that is a very stupid way to go. You can have other things doing. Learn a skill. Learn how to do graphic design. Learn how to um, um, uh, um, open a business. You know, get a job. You know, even if you can open a business. You can learn how to mix perfume. Put inside bottles. I'm selling your perfume. Making your money from there. And I used to fund your accounts. You can join affiliate marketing. Sell, help people to sell a product onto your friends. You know, create an account. Grow your accounts. You know, you can have a YouTube channel. You can do so many things. You can have, have so many things. You can learn a skill. Make websites for people. You know, do all those things. Be a social media manager. Work, learn Web3. Be a Web3 moderator. You know, there are so many things you can learn. Even if you don't have a job. Job is not an excuse to not make money. You can make money without having a job. I have made thousands of dollars without having a job. Right? So have other income sources. Be humble enough to work for someone. Either what it takes. It's going to really help you if you want to succeed in your trading. So you need to have other income sources. Right? You need things that can give you money off the charts. That way, you're trading with ease and without the pressure to make money immediately. Because that's how some, that's how some of you are struggling. So you guys are under pressure. You want to make money because there's no other way to make money. When else now, you see someone, someone is trading with his, with his child's school fees. How is he going to trade with ease when he's trading with the child's school fees? Money that is meant to pay your child's school fees and you're using to trade. How are you going to make money from it? Because now you're under pressure to not lose it. And you're focused on not losing. And then you end up losing it because what you're focused on is what, what comes to you. When you're focused on not losing, then you lose. You're focused on winning, then you win. But in this instance, you are putting your place yourself in a place where you can't afford the loss because afford, taking that loss will mean that your child will not go to school. So now you, you just have to win. And now you're under pressure. You don't want to lose. And then you see you're taking trade, you shouldn't be taking. You can't hold your, your retracement. All of all these funny, funny things start coming. So you need to have other income sources. Learn a skill. Start a business. Start a business is not so difficult. You can go, and let, go online. If you don't, you don't want to pay, go online and go go how to mix oil perfume you learn it online you now check online um vendors for getting oil perfume or suppliers you you get it you call the phone number you gotta meet people that are doing it you can tell the market today go and meet someone and send oil perfume and say sir how do you where do you get your oil perfume let will give you maybe contacts this is who i used to call my oil perfume okay you go there you get the person's contact is that important oil bottle perfume i'm selling it for your friends be making your cool cash you buy the bottle Mix it yourself. Maybe you can go like, learn how to mix perfume. Make your money for yourself. You can also learn how to, you know, to, to uh, you can learn how to write. Uh, be a copywriter for maybe a social media account manager. Because if you don't know how to write, most times they will uh, um, hire you as a social media account manager. You can learn how to manage accounts maybe for a big firm. You can get all these big deals. You can get a copywriting something, a geek to write. Right? You can learn how to do public speech. You go to churches and then, be, you know, you give speeches. Start inviting you to come and speak. You learn how to give motivational speeches. You can learn how to edit videos. There are people that need video editors. There are people that have, uh, that have businesses and they don't know who to help them to make videos. You can make videos. Okay, sir, I want to make videos for your company. How much will you pay me? You make videos for the person's company. Good videos, high quality videos, advertising videos. You can do that and make your money for yourself. All these things require what? Focus and what? Determination. These are things you can learn for free. You don't even need to learn how to. You can go online now and search how to make videos, how to edit videos. You can watch all those things. In fact, there are some that are very cheap. Some of them are 2,000 naira, 1,000. You can learn all those things. Master it very well and be using to make your money for yourself. The very first course I sold was on what? Animation, 3D. This was the first course I sold. I learned how to, I was in 2D animation. That was the first course I ever sold. I learned how to do 2D animation. And then I was not teaching it for people. I was using to, to, you know, people businesses. I was using to do advert for them. And they would pay me, and I would run a video for them. I had to do, I would kind of, that time, we didn't have much of 3D animation there. Then I could do animation with a particular app. I could edit you know, the scenes. I could edit the words. I could make the voice. I could put characters. I could do all those animation videos. So what I was doing, I was kind of teaching people how to do it. I was also using to make money for myself. I was making cool cars as I then. I was visiting at least five students every week. People would pay me at least, at least four or five people would pay me every week. Or every two weeks, but it, people will pay me to learn how to do it, how to do animation. And I was making money from it. I was making cool cash. I was just teaching them how to make animation. As I then, 
when things were, you know, that was about the year 20, I think maybe 2018 or 2017, when I was doing this, more than seven years ago now, I was into this animation. And I was making money from it. I was taking paying my bills, you know, changing my clothes with it. Having, you know, I was making money from it. And I didn't pay much to learn it. I paid, I paid a little fee to learn how to do it. And I made it um, a, a course for, my, for myself. I was teaching everybody what to do it. I was making money for myself. So you guys can learn something. One of the things that you can make money from is that thing called video editing. Many people, so see, if you want to make money, eh, learn the difficult things. Those things that people cannot really do. Go and learn it and do it. And you make money from it. Things like video editing. People cannot really edit videos very well. I feel like I'm going to do as well. Go and learn that, learn to the core. Learn it very well. I can edit any kind of video. You're very good at it. When you're very good at something that is very difficult, people will pay you any amount to call. If someone wants to advertise this video, and does not they don't have to do it. You See, if you want to make money, learn the difficult things. What people cannot do, go and learn it very well. Master it and then charge people. People will pay you. Those things are difficult to do. That is where the money is. Go and learn those difficult things like video editing. Learn how to, you know, to, to, to grow social media accounts. Those things are difficult to do because people cannot grow accounts. Learn how to grow accounts organically. Learn how to copyright, how to um, 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 run um, a, a sales funnel. Those things are very difficult to do for an average person. How to create websites, how to do landing pages, how to make a responsive website. Those things are difficult to do. That's how you make your money. That's how you make your money. Those are people cannot really do. If you're doing what everyone can do, you want to make money from it. For instance, now you want to go, maybe you want to be a junior agent. A junior agent wouldn't be making that mo much money because why? Anyone can buy things from Jimmy directly. Like now, I have a Jimmy app now. I can simply open my Jimmy app and buy things from Jimmy. I don't need an agent to help me to buy it. But I'm seeing some people who are saying, I'm, I'm a Jimmy agent. Please patronize me. If you're begging people to patronize you, that means what you're doing is not valuable. If you are begging people to patronize you, what you're doing is not valuable. If it's valuable, they won't be, you won't beg them. They will come to you. All you have to do is what? Advertise. That is all. You advertise so they can see you, not because you're begging them. You advertise so they can see that you have this product, so you can see what you're selling, and then they'll come and meet you. But unlike someone that is, that is doing what anyone can do, like being a junior agent, anyone can open it, can open his, his website and then buy it online directly without having to go to the I can open my phone and just buy a TV online without having to contact anybody. Just place the order on my phone. I don't need to call a gym agent to be for me. So focus on the things that are difficult for us to do. And then you make your money from it. And then you can use the fund your accounts. So just learn something that people cannot do. Learn it very well and make money from it. Guys, it's as simple as that. Nothing much apart from this simple thing I've said. That is it. How to make other incomes. Okay, now, these are the things I feel that is lacking in, in a lot of you. If you guys can, you know, focus on yourself, knowing that social media is not real, you can be part of the community, you can have other income sources, believe me, you're going to, you, you find, if you can do this, if you can put these three things in order, believe me, you have increased your, your chances of being profitable by at least 50%. I'm telling you, I'm not lying to you. If you can do this, you can, you know, you can regulate social media you know, at, um, um, focus, you can be part of a community, you can have other income, believe me, you have increased your chance of being profited by 90, by 50%. You have kind of made the journey easier for yourself. You have reduced your journey by 50%. Halfway, you have gone halfway to the goalpost already. You're already halfway there, if you can do it. If you can just put these two things in place, you're already halfway there. You're halfway there. Believe me. You're halfway there. So now, let's talk about one last thing and then we call it a day. Because this is going. To, this is the Father's blessing. Right? I'm just crossing the T's and dotting the I's for you guys. The things that, that I, just, I feel that is limiting a lot of you. These are the things. If you have other income sources, believe me, you won't be begging for giveaways. You won't be begging, sir, please, I, uh, for the past five months now, I could have not been able to afford an account. I have been trading demo. Sir, please, can you help me with an account? Sir, I don't have funds. Blah, 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 blah. Stupid excuses. Very stupid excuses. These are, these are excuses that are not wise. It doesn't make sense. Go and learn how to make money for yourself. There are, in fact, there are many ways to make money online. 
can be a drop shipper. Those um, buy things from China at maybe 1,000, come and sell it at 5,000. There are things to do that you can make money. You're just lazy or not knowledgeable. Most blue people are, are either lazy or they don't know how to do it, right? So if you're, you fall under the, the, the not know how, then use this time to learn how, right? You want to make money, right? Go and learn how to make money. That's what you should do. Go and learn how to make money. That is, that is the solution for, um, to being broke by learning how to make money. Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge, not my people perish for, for, for laziness. No, most people don't, don't lack knowledge. So now go and guess the knowledge. Now I've told you the secret that if you want to start making money, go and learn what people cannot do easily and make money from there. Be a solution to people's problems. What people are finding difficult to do, what they are struggling with, go and become a, a coach there or a master in it. That is it. That is it. The reason why people, people can pay millions to have maybe a, a ghost, maybe a singer like the video on their um product is because the video has what a lot of online attention. So if they see him endorsing a product, people are going to buy from it. So what he does is like he's solving the problem of trust. People want to want to trust your brand, then you can put a face that they know. Maybe Border Boy, maybe Davido, maybe Tiwa Savage, all those big, big names. You can push them and then, you know, people will be drawn to, to come to coming to them. That is it. So they have solved the problem of what trust. People, not, people trust them as their celebrities. And then you can now use that to do it. To back up the business. So that is it. That is it. That is basically it. Right? And now, Let's talk about the final thing, which I would like you guys to really pay attention to. Now, the final thing I want to say is that, you know, this kind of boils down to number one, which is the fake social media we, are, we have. But then another thing you have to put is what? Cut away excesses. This is very important. This is one thing that I think that you guys are struggling with. You guys are carrying too many excesses. What are excesses? Excesses are things that you may need, but not now. That is what excesses are. The things that you may need them, they may be important, but not at this moment. There are things that you guys are carrying that you don't need now. For instance, now you're struggling with profitability and you're yourself yourself and promising your, your junior star school fees. You are not profitable yet, but you're promising your, you're promising your mother your mother and that you'll build your house for her. You see, you're carrying those things are good. Is it good to buy a house for your mother? Yes. Is it good to pay your siblings' school fees? Yes. But at this time, when you're growing, you have not yet gotten there. No need to be putting all those pressure on yourself. It's good to be a good uh, sibling. It's good to go be a good child, a good um, son or daughter. But you need to cause that essence for now. It's only a cup that is filled that can fill another cup. Right? You have to focus on filling yourself first. And having what a stable source of finance, having a stable income source. Now you're able to do what? To assist others. This is what is wrong with a lot of you guys are carrying too many garbage. Imagine one of my friends, you know, in those days, one of my friends told me that one of the issues is going that which is that he can't trade. I asked him, why can't you trade? That he had an issue with his girlfriend. Can you see the excess is carrying? He says he had an issue with his girlfriend, and then you know he tried to trade, he lost money. That's why he cannot trade anymore. Because of issues, you know, he's having internal conflict with his girlfriend, and then because of the issues they had, he can't focus on the market. He's thinking about her. He's pained by what she did to him or maybe what she said to him. And then he lost money and then he had to stop trading. Why? Because of excesses, right? When you are you are trying to get your, 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 your finances straight, you don't need toxic relationships. You don't need um, um, ladies bothering you or, you know, why didn't she pick my call? Why didn't she text me back? All the others, you don't need toxic relationships. You don't need all those other stuff. You can you can do them later on in life. But when you're trying to develop your finances, cut away excesses. Stay away from toxic relationships. Have friends that are, that you no. Know, stay away from all, all these toxic relationships. Very important. Stay away from relationships that are toxic. Stay away from. In fact, if possible, just stay away from relationships. Cut away excesses. Some of you guys cannot do without watching movies. You know those are things you have to cut away. You have to learn to sacrifice. Is it bad to watch a movie? No. But should you be watching a movie when you should be studying? Yes. No, you shouldn't. Or let me put it again. Let me put it again. Is it bad to watch movies? No. But should you be watching movies when you're, you need to be studying? You shouldn't. So that becomes an essence. 
And excess is something that is or it seems important. It may be important or it may not be important. But the issue that at this moment is not needed at the moment, like at this now you're trying to grow. At this your early 20s, you don't need it now, right? You don't need these things now. So cut away excesses. Cut away excesses. It's going to really, really help you. Cut away excesses. Things that are not important. Some of you guys go to church um, um, 20, 20, five, seven days a week. Like you go to church on Monday, you go on Tuesday, go on Wednesday. Am I saying it's bad to go to church? No. But cut away excesses. Have days for service. Have days for personal development. Have time to pray. Have time to study. Have time to read the Bible. Have time to, to work on yourself. There's time for everything, including prayer. Even as a Christian, I read my Bible. Jesus Christ was not praying 247. He was not praying in the morning, afternoon, night. Christ was not in the church 247. He was not in the church every moment. Like in the morning, he's in the church. After he's in the church. He had time to do that things too. He had, time, he had time to make friends with Lazarus and the rest. He had time to do to, to, to rest. He had time to do his carpentry business. He had time to do other things. So you need to learn how to you know partition your time with wisdom. Five minutes here, five minutes there, ten minutes here, ten minutes there. Just like that. Don't be overdoing things. Some of you guys always in church. Sometimes, okay, you know you should be studying. You're fasting 50 days. Bro, those things are not important at this moment. Is it good to fast? Yes. But there are time for it's time for everything. There's time you should just study, eat your food and study and learn. Right? Faith without work is dead. It's time to have faith. It's time to work on yourself. Right? Cut away excesses. Have time for everything. You shouldn't be clubbing when you should be saving. You shouldn't be overspending when you should be saving your money. So of you guys, just $10,000 that will come to your account now. You want to come and buy one expensive um drink or one expensive clothes. Doesn't make any sense. How can you make ten thousand? Maybe you're paying salary of maybe in the month you're earning maybe fifty thousand naira and you're spending forty five on clothes. You see how foolish you are. You're earning fifty k a month and you're spending forty five on clothes. That is excesses. Is it bad to wear good clothes? No. But at this moment, you don't need those good clothes. You can go for the cheaper ones. The ones that are less cost effective. That's it. So if you guys, you want to eat now. If you don't put 5,000 naira for your meal, you won't be okay. Aren't there cheaper meals? Can't you get meals that are cheaper? Meals that you can get maybe 1,000 naira. Can't you get cheaper meals? Most of you put the expensive chicken lap. You want to put everything. Everything is always excess for you. Nah. You need to cut away excesses. Learn how to minimize your uh, Make use of your time. Right? It's, not like watch, it's, it's not like watching movie every time, morning to night. You have to have time. Like me. I watch movies sometimes. I watch movies sometimes twice in a whole month, or maybe once a whole month. All right? I, I do watch movies, but maybe highest once a month. Or maybe once in two weeks. I'm not saying you must follow me. I'm saying that due to how I have you know, I focus on the on the things that give me money. But I know that if I'm watching movies, I won't have time to, you know, to um to uh, um focus on my other businesses. I won't have time to rest. I won't have time to focus on other things I should be doing. So I have to, you know, learn how to cost those exercises. I don't sleep too much. As early as sometimes, as early as three, I'm up. I'm, you know, do my studies, do my prayers. You know, I'm up. I'm not about sleeping. Right? So you have to learn to cut away those excesses, those things that are not required in your journey for now. Just look at those things that you're not doing, that, that you don't need to be doing now. You shouldn't be overdoing and then stop doing them. Right? If the relationship is giving you issues, end the relationship. Later, when you get, get when you can continue. She's not the only girl in the world. There are still other girls that are, that are more peaceful than that lady that, you, that you're giving, that's giving you issues. She's an SS. Cut her off. He is an SS. Cut him off. Focus on your journey. If you have a friend that's always, you know, you have a friend that's always putting you under pressure, like me personally, I cut away from a lot of friends. I had friends then, when I was younger, that their parents were very, very rich. And they were putting me under pressure. Like I would see, like on his birthday now, his mom will send him 300,000 naira. Why me on my own birthday? My mom is even barely being able to give him 10,000 naira. Imagine my friend, on his birthday, his parents are giving him 300k. But me, barely 10,000 naira. So I know that this guy is going to put on that pressure because he's better off than me. And then he's always, you know, he's always showing off. 
you see him posting uh, videos of bands. You see bands of cash. You see him, you know, going to clubs in the night, spreading money with beautiful girls. And I was like, boy, this guy's ahead of me. Let me just focus on my own level. So I had to cut away from him. Not because I'm jealous, but because I knew that if I, if I continue following this guy, I'll put myself under pressure to meet up. So I had to cut him off, put him at a distance. We are not enemies. We do talk maybe once in a while, but we're not close anymore because I know that he's not my level. So these are, these are the things. If you have to cut off some friends, some friends are there to put you under undue pressure. Like they put you under pressure. They put you on any kind of pressure that you cannot just understand yourself. Those kind of guys, you need to cut away from them. Focus on the guys that are level. And also focus on guys that are also, they're happy to grow. Know that you have a friend that all his all he thinks about his poverty. He thinks about how to um to 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 cheat others, how to um to not spend money, how to always you know be um take advantage of others. You know those kind of people to also go away from them. Just know where you're going and then put your alignment, put your steps on only the path that will take you there. There's only one step that will take you there and follow that particular step, that particular pathway. Yeah, very important. So if you guys can cut the weight excess, it's going to be a very great advantage to you. These are the things that are beyond the chart. These things are not chart related. They are things that are not on the chart, but they make a lot of difference. This is why people always say that trading is a lot. Is, um, people always say that trading is what? 80% psychology. Right? I don't really agree with this, but I think that what they mean is that people always say that um, trading is, um, people always say that, um, trading is 80% of the psychology. I don't actually agree with this. What I I feel that they may not be totally correct. I'll say that trading is um in my opinion, I say that trading is eighty percent, eighty percent of charts, right? So this is how I put it. Trading percent, eighty percent of charts. So if you can put your focus on those things that are off the charts, right? That are not technical analysis, you're going to really make a lot of progress. Because you guys focus a lot on technical analysis, how to get in, how to get out, um, stop loss placements. Um, entry pattern, um, uh, um, risk management, boy. But you focus all, you forget all these SSS that you, you have put in. You, you're not part of the community. You're not uh, um, your alliance social media to pressure you. You don't have other income sources. You you have all you're, you're doing all these things wrong, and then you believe that just because you are, you have understood what an other block is, then you can make profits. No, you can't make profit that way. You have to focus on these eight percent things that are off the charts. 80% of your progress in trading is off the charts. If you want to make progress, 80% of the things you should be doing are not technical analysis related. Technical analysis is just 20%. Believe me. It's not, it's, it's not hard to learn how to trade in, in one month. Believe me. If you have other things in place, you can learn how to trade. I, I know people, I know people that started trading for one year and they're very profitable, like crazy profitable on that one year. I know them on Twitter and um, personally. People that also started trading just one year and they're very profitable because why they have other income sources, they are they are always focused on themselves, they are part of a community, and they have caught away SSs. These are the four enemies that you guys face. A lot of you face enemies. You guys are having issues with this any of the, all these four things. You guys are putting too many things on your too many load on yourself. You're under pressure because of what the SSs you have carried. You want to you you're, you're competing with other people. You on you 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 you're in a mental um uh, um competition with everybody you see. Anybody you see, you're competing with that person in your mind. Anyone you see, you want to compete with the person. You want to be like everybody. You want to be famous. Just putting too many garbage and garbage on yourself, and then you I uh, wonder why you're not, you're struggling with your trade. This is the reason why you guys struggle. You guys are not paying attention to all these important details, very important, right? And then finally, focus on so focus on self-development. This is the last one I will leave you guys with. Lastly, focus on self-development. A day should not go that you did not develop yourself in one way. Every week, I try to watch at least two or three videos that are, you know, that talks about development, talks about mindset, talks about improving habits, learning how to sleep properly. Like, at least give at least, 
even if it's just in a whole week, you can just give in a, in a week of you no, know, you have 24 hours in, in, in a day. So we have 24 times seven. Right? So we have 24 hours times seven, right? Right, we have this is um this, this is um roughly about nine something hours or nine eight or that or something like that. Things about ninety eight hours or there about. I'm not the calculator here. I think about ninety eight hours we have in a week. Things about ninety eight hours. So if, please, if I'm not correct, don't roast me. Right, I'm not using a calculator here. I'm not assuming from my head. Right, seven times two fourteen. So I'm assuming it's ninety eight. Right, I'm not sure of that. I'm assuming we have ninety eight hours in a week. So out of this ninety eight hours in a week, which is seven days, you can also allocate just four, four hours. In the week, right? For you cannot, it's not too difficult. Out of this 98 hours, you can also take out maybe one hour every day or focus on self development. Just one hour every day is not too much. Maybe you, you you get a maybe you start a series online, maybe a course that talks about how to speak properly or how to uh, um how to um um um, uh, um manage your time effectively, right? Or you can buy a book, like that's why I like reading books. I said learning how to talk when I said reading books before. If you kept me to talk for one hour, I, I know fit. I cannot. We have seen me talking for one hour now because when I read books, I'm developing my mind. I can speak based on what I know and based on what I have read. All right. So you guys need to focus on self-development. Focus on developing yourself. Learn how to speak properly. Learn how to communicate with others. Learn how to mind your business. Learn how to act responsibly. Learn how to uh, um, dress neatly. You know, just learn how to improve on yourself, your, your speaking, your relationships, your productivity index. Learn how to uh, uh, um, study, improve your trading technicals. I, as a trader, you can take maybe um, maybe one hour a week to watch a video by your mentor. You review your journal. You know, you focus on journaling your trades. You focus on reviewing your actions. You have a trading uh, 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 manual. You have a checklist. You put all those things in place. You have um, a goal board, a visualization board. You have those things that kind of puts you in the right order. So focus on developing yourself, developing your finances, developing your your your, your skill set, developing your skill set, your 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 business. The focus on, on developing your business. If you're into business, learn how to maximize it to be ahead of others, right? That is how you stay long in this game, all right? So you have to really focus on yourself. Be selfish when you're trying to be um, profitable. Be very selfish. Be focused on yourself. Focus on your time. Focus on how to be better than how you were yesterday, right? Don't compete with anybody. Never compete. Never, ever compete with anybody. Because the same way your faces are different, that is how your, your, your lives are different, your destinies are different, and your goals and um, future pursuits should be different. So don't compare to other, other people. Focus on yourself, right? So I want to really thank you guys for the audience. Thank you guys. Some people, some of you guys sent me gifts. Some people sent me some cash gifts. I saw some, you know, some of my last year. Some of you guys sent some beautiful wishes. I really thank you guys for the three years of listening to me, learning from me, and you know, helping to push this channel to grow to where it is today. Right? I want to say that the good Lord bless you all, and I would love to see you guys in the future and at the top and of course if you want to be part of my community which is currently ongoing you can use the link in the description for a 20 percent discount and it runs for one year you can be part of our paid mentorship group all right so i want to wish you guys the best um after this bootcamp i'll be unavailable for about you know seven days i want to take a break to note and my break is for what for self-development i want to focus on myself for just seven days i will not be too active online i won't be talking too much i will just be focused on myself and I'll be off social media activity. Like I'll be reducing my social media activity. Like I won't be so active because obviously I need to treat and I'll always be online. But then I will not be too focused on discussing all these random conversations, right? So you guys are part of the community. Uh, why the, the discount still last? And I will see you guys in the pay group, right? So have a wonderful day. Thank you, God, for plugging in. Cheers and God bless.